Microsoft has just released a real-time version of their Vibe voice model. And this is one of those models which I would suggest you download as soon as possible before they delete it yet again. Vibe voice real-time is a lightweight deployment friendly text-to-speech model designed for real-time applications capable of producing audible speech in approximately 300 milliseconds. In this video, we are going to install it locally and also I will be showing you how to get it installed in Google Colab on free GPU. You can also try it out on CPU because it's a very lightweight model. I will also be talking about its architecture, its features and various other tidbits, so stay tuned. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Also, please follow me on X as I regularly post updates about AI without hype and without fluff. So, let's get right into installing it on Google Colab and then I will be talking more about this Vibe Voice real-time model. Now, I'm in Google Colab and if you are following along, just go to colab.research.google.com, sign up or sign in with your free Gmail account, then go to Runtime, change Runtime type, select T4 GPU, really good of Google to provide it for free. Then git clone the repo of Vibe Voice and I will drop the link in video's description and then simply download this 0.5 billion model. We are also installing all the requirements. So let's run this. It is going to take two to three minutes. So let's wait for it. And while that happens, let's talk a bit more around this model. Now, this model's primary purpose is to enable streaming text input that allows it to narrative live data or allow large language models to speak as soon as the first text token is generated rather than waiting for a complete response. The model uses an interleaved window design which means it incrementally process incoming chunks of text in parallel while generating speech from previous context and that ensures a smooth and continuous output. This specific variant which you are looking at your screen is optimized for a single speaker and for the English language only. It features a compact 0.5 billion parameter size for very efficient deployment anywhere. Okay, so let's go back to our Google Colab. And the repo is cloned, model is downloaded. Let's go to the next step. I'm just going to launch the demo. All I'm doing, I am activating the uh, model and then I am running this real-time demo. So let me quickly run this and it is just creating a Cloudflare proxy just to pipe in the URL so that we could use it locally uh, from my local laptop and attach my mic there. So let me run this. And there you go. So it has generated a temporary public URL where we can access this TTS demo. And this is what the demo looks like. I'm just going to enter my text. And um, this is a whole paragraph which I am just pasting here. Now, normal TTS model, they would just convert all of it and then start speaking. But this is going to uh, hopefully uh, just start speaking immediately. So let's try it out. I have selected this Grace Women speaker. I'm just going to keep CFG, which is the guidance. It means how much instruction following or prompt following the model does. Let me click on start. Let's be honest, your brain is probably one browser tab away from short circuiting with all the AI news flying around. While everyone else is drowning in a sea of hype and press releases, you can be the sassy dolphin playfully leaping over the waves. Hit subscribe on Fa's channel to get the AI updates that actually matter, curated with enough wit to make your neurons do a little dance. And for those who want to join the inner sanctum of digital demigods, the folks who get the uncut insights and the behind-the-scenes commentary, Becoming a member is your official invitation. It's the difference between knowing what's happening and knowing what's really happening. Don't get left behind asking your toaster for advice. Join the club that's already five steps ahead.
you see it was quite good really really good i mean as soon as the text is pasted it has just started streaming it in and similarly you can also check out the logs this is the audio and this was um, you can also save it if you like and these are the steps you can even increase it if you want to increase the performance okay so this is how you run it in google colab and now let me take you to back to my server where i'm going to show you how to run it locally this is my ubuntu server i am running one gpu nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram if you're looking to rent a gpu or vm or cpu on very affordable price you can find the link to mass compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for range of gpus so please do check them out and my virtual environment is created let me git clone the repo of vibe voice and that should be done and from the root of the repo install all the prerequisites and again that is going to take a bit of a time uh, like one or two minutes while that happens let's quickly talk about the architecture of this model in very simple words so the architecture of vibe voice real time is built around three core components first a transformer based llm which is surprisingly quant 2.5.5 billion and then we have an efficient acoustic tokenizer and thirdly a lightweight diffusion head as you can see in the diagram incoming text is processed as discrete text tokens by the llm in parallel the model handles continuous speech latents which are highly compressed representation of audio generated by the acoustic tokenizer which is operating at a low 7.5 hertz frame rate the diffusion head serves as a crucial bridge taking guidance from the llm's hidden states to predict the next set of acoustic features this process conditioned on a voice prompt for speaker characteristics allows the model to generate speech chunk by chunk creating a robust long form audio stream from a continuous text input so this is the whole architecture of a model simple yet very effective and everything is now installed let me clear the screen now you can launch the same real-time demo from the root of the repo simply by running this command and the first time when you run it it downloads a model which is a very small 2 gig model and now the demo is running on our local host at port 3000 let me quickly show you the vram consumption uh, should be very minimal if any so you see it is just consuming over 2 gig of vram that's it easily runnable on cpu and this is what it looks like in the web interface where you can in, you know start uh, typing your text and select your speaker and it's the same sort of experience which i showed you earlier okay let's try out few more so i'm just going to put uh, some singing thing let so i'm just saying let me try to sing a part part of it for you and then there is some song let's select maybe emma let's start let me try to sing a part of it for you. It's been a long day without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Okay, cool. And let me try an emotional one, just uh, some subtle emotions in here. Maybe I'll select, uh, let's go with Davis. I can't believe you did it again. I waited for two hours, two hours. Not a single call, not a text. Do you have any idea how embarrassing that was just sitting there alone? That was pretty good. So look, pretty good effort from Microsoft. Uh, very impressive. And the previous Vibe Voice models were also quite good. As we tried out in these videos, as you also gave quite a good response. Let me know your thoughts on it. And again, please follow me on X and I will drop the link in first comment. Plus, please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.